branch pattern. Cut several different lengths of wire, hold the wire with a pair of tweezers, and using a sharp torch flame, bead the end of the wire. Let it cool down, then pickle clean and dry. Flatten the wire in the planisher, or take a hammer and strike it on a metal block to flatten the bead. Make sure to flex the sheet of metal before placing down the wires. Place the wires so they intersect each other, then the smaller pieces of wire so they come in and make an acute angle to the longer pieces. This will create a branch-like pattern. You can fill a small hairspray bottle with flux and use it to spray on your sheet before you fuse it. Use a large brush-like flame and slowly go around the piece of metal. This will evaporate the flux and hold the pieces into place. As the metal heats up, it'll turn a milky white, then an orangey red color. After that, you'll start noticing a silvery pool of sterling. This happens when the pieces fuse together. You can take your flame and pull the melted metal around each segment of the design, making sure that all the pieces are fused in place. Whatever you do, do not flick the torch. This will freeze up the metal and cause it to be brittle. To assure the pieces fuse correctly, when you flip it over, you should be able to see the embossment of the pattern in the back of the metal. Let it cool down, then pickle, clean, and dry the metal. Wrap it in paper and roll it through the mill. 